In 1859, the world experienced a phenomenon of cosmic proportions that not only illuminated the skies with stunning auroras, but also disrupted the era's nascent technological systems. This event, known as the Carrington Event, highlighted Earth's vulnerability to solar activity in a striking way. The most direct impact was on the global telegraph network, the backbone of long-distance communication at the time. Telegraph systems across Europe and North America experienced extensive outages, with some operators receiving electric shocks and others finding their equipment functioning bizarrely, even without power. This historic event stands as a stark reminder of the profound effects solar storms can have on our planet, underscoring the essential need to understand and prepare for these solar terrestrial interactions. Fast forward to the present, the year 2025 is poised to be a pivotal time in the study and observation of solar storms, including solar flares and their potential impacts on Earth. Our contemporary world, deeply intertwined and dependent on advanced technology, faces heightened risks from these celestial events. Unlike the telegraph systems of 1859, today's infrastructure, spanning communication networks, power grids, satellites, and even the safety of air and space travel, is far more complex and sensitive to solar disturbances. As such, comprehending and preparing for solar events has become more critical than ever. Before exploring the specifics of solar storms and flares, it's important to understand the solar cycle, which is the driving force behind these phenomena. The solar cycle is an approximately 11-year cycle during which the sun's magnetic field flips and then returns to its original position. This cycle influences the frequency and intensity of solar activity and is categorized into two key phases, solar maximum and solar minimum. Solar maximum is the period when the sun is most active, marked by an increased number of sunspots and solar events like flares and CMEs. During this phase, the chances of experiencing powerful solar flares and geomagnetic storms are higher. During the solar minimum, the sun's activity decreases, leading to fewer sunspots and a reduction in solar flares and storms. What are solar storms and solar flares? With the context of the solar cycle established, we can better understand solar storms and flares. Solar flares are sudden and intense bursts of radiation from the sun's surface, resulting from the release of magnetic energy. These can disrupt Earth's electromagnetic field, affecting communication and navigation systems, and pose risks to satellites and astronauts. Solar storms are disturbances in Earth's magnetosphere caused by solar winds and CMEs. These events can lead to beautiful auroras, but also have the potential to disrupt various technologies and power grids on Earth. Understanding how solar flares and storms are influenced by the solar cycle is crucial. During solar maximum phases, the increased solar activity means a higher likelihood of significant solar events that can impact our planet. This interplay underscores the importance of monitoring solar activity, especially as we approach a solar maximum period. Today's world is deeply reliant on technology, making us more vulnerable to solar events than ever before. Satellite communications, GPS systems, power grids, and aviation heavily depend on stability in the space environment. A severe solar storm could disrupt these systems, leading to widespread communication blackouts, navigation failures, power outages, and even health risks to astronauts and high-altitude flights due to increased radiation. The Carrington event of 1859 serves as a stark reminder of our vulnerability to solar phenomena. As we move closer to 2025, it is imperative to learn from the past and prepare for future solar events. By advancing our understanding of solar cycles, improving our technological resilience, and developing effective mitigation strategies, we can safeguard our infrastructure and ensure a more secure and prepared future against the powerful forces of our sun.